Hi everyone, welcome back to Equipoise Classes. I am Surbhi Gupta and in these videos we cover economics topics from Tamil Nadu Board Book. But as I always say, book doesn't matter. What matters is the topics that we are reading. So if you are economic enthusiast, if you are beginning your journey in economics or you are appearing for any particular exam, these videos or these series would be very helpful for you because I am sharing and telling you about every topic in detail. One topic, one video, be it very small, one minute video to 15 minutes video, doesn't matter. one topic in one video we cover so today we are going to do gdp deflator real income nominal income is important to understand for gdp deflator which is why first we'll begin with what is real income what is nominal income but i will not read i'll first give you one example i'll write down one example okay so let's take quantity and prices prices and quantity okay and here are years so this is year 2014 10 years ago and this is year 2024 okay we are comparing and this is here okay so uh, we say wheat prices okay wheat production we want to see and wheat prices we want to see so what are what is happening and here price into quantity if happens is equal to your nominal income okay so prices of wheat was say 10 rupees a kg and quantity that was being produced was 1000 kgs so that means nominal income in 2014 for wheat was 10000 rupees right then the prices now are 20 rupees and the quantity being produced say is uh 1200 okay so the uh, nominal income is 24 so if we only see this number so we will we will tend to say that oh uh, nominal income has increased in 10 years right from 10000 to 24000 but nominal income has increased how much real income has increased nominal income has increased by 14000 right but that is also part of price increase if we keep aside the increase in price if we don't want to see what is the price increase and if we only want to see in real terms real terms means actual quantity and actual production by how much the production has increased other than the price so that we want to see how will we see that when we keep today's quantity multiply by base year prices say this was base year imagine this was base year so base year prices how much that becomes that becomes 12000 so the actual increase we say the real terms the real income has only increased by 2000 rupees when the nominal income shows an increase by 14000 so if you see income increase and if you say oh from 2000 in last 10 years the nominal income uh, from wheat has increased by 14000 but in real sense you know 14000 is a reflection of major increase in prices in real sense real sense means other than the prices by how much the production has increased in the economy by how much the quantity has increased in the economy the quantity has only increased by 2000 which means that uh, the real income is increasing only by 2000 so that's the difference between real and nominal income i hope that's clear that was the example now let's read what is written here nominal income is national income expressed in terms of general price level of a particular year in other words real income is the buying power of nominal income national income is the final value of goods and services produced and expressed in terms of money at current prices it does not indicate the real state of the economy it does not indicate the real state of the economy the real income is derived by real income at constant prices is national income at current prices so this is a technical thing i hope you understood what i am trying to explain here okay so then let's move to gdp deflator what is gdp deflator gdp deflator is an index of price changes of goods and services included in gdp it is the price index which is calculated by dividing dividing nominal gdp in a given year by real gdp of the same year okay so gdp deflator we know nominal gdp nominal gdp was 14000 say okay and real gdp was only 2000 and into 100 so if we see gdp deflator gdp deflator comes out to be i mean whatever the nominal gdp was we'll see the real, real income and real sorry real gdp was 12000 sorry my bad here here it goes 
here is the example nominal gdp in this year was 24000 and real gdp was 12000 into 100 so it becomes 200 your gdp deflator is 200 right so that's a gdp deflator and that's how we come at gdp deflator so that's nominal income upon real income into 100 price index gdp deflator deflator means that we are trying to assess other than the price what is the index like what is the role of the inflation in that or the price increase okay so that's what we're trying to gauge right so price has increased by you know almost say 100 percent so price has increased by 100 percent in these years so that's what see price increase from 10 to 20 right price was doubled twice so we are assessing the index the change in the price inflation through gdp deflator okay so i hope that's clear so tomorrow we'll begin with the methods i'll just introduce that what are the methods what do we mean by measuring national income what are different methods and i'll just introduce and formally with each of the method we'll start from next week uh, so yeah that's it uh, we'll wrap up the video i hope you found it useful share your feedback like share and throw us a time to subscribe the channel because most of you watch the video do not hit the subscribe button guys please do so it really means a lot to me okay so yeah thank you so much for if you've come till the end drop the heart emoji so that that's the signal that you came till the end of the video and also guys uh thank you so much for so showing so much of love to equipoise classes now i'll just quickly end this video take care and stay happy stay healthy keep smiling and keep practicing a lot i'll see you with another video tomorrow take care and